Hey, it's Sally, and this video is uh, is by special request, uh, but also I think it's an important one to have in my collection. So one of the comments on one of my other videos said, "Hey, you know, great drop down feature video, um, but what I would like to be able to do is to be able to use that drop down menu to select a customer and then have their information auto populate." So uh, luckily for you, Thomas, this is a pretty easy thing to do. So let's get started. <laughs> So on sheet one right here, this is my uh, just my generic um, order form here. And the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to have a drop down list to select an account number, and then it's going to auto populate the rest of this customer information here. So the way that I prepare that is I have on sheet two, I have all of my customer uh, information here. Obviously, this is uh, just all fake, but um, so this is where I have it. I have it in uh, in order. So I have account number, customer. So this all follows what I have on my order form here. I, I think it's important to do that just to stay organized. So first I'm going to make my, my drop down list. So assuming that I'm going to get more than uh, 38 customers, I want to expand this pretty far. So first thing I need to do is select right here, starting with the very first uh, customer here and I'm going to drag down and I'm just going to keep dragging way down for a ways here so just assuming I at some point I'll just stop at a thousand so that way if I get a couple more customers uh, this is going to work hopefully at that point you'll get better software than just using Excel but for now so this I'm going to name this by clicking up in this name field I want to name this section We'll just do customer, okay? So I have named this group of fields customer. Now the rest of the information here corresponds to the account number. So account number one, this is all the information that pertains to customer one and so on. So I'm pretty much done with, I guess, what I would call the hard part. Now it's time to bust in those formulas. So I'm gonna go back to sheet one and here is where I'm going to make my drop down box here. So I want to click on data right here on this data tab. And again, if I forgot what I named that field, I can click right here in this box right here. Oh, okay, I named it customer with a capital C. Okay, easy. So this is where I want my drop down box. So I want to go up to data validation and I want to select data validation. So on the settings tab here, I want to allow, I want this to be a list. Okay, I know it's a little confusing, but all you have to remember is uh, data validation and list. So now my source, this is where naming your field comes in handy. So I want to name my source and I'm going to use an equal sign and I'm going to type out customer because that's what that field is called. Uh, you can add some extra stuff here if you want to add a, a message, an error alert. Um, I'm just going to leave it as is. So that's all I really need to do. So I'm going to click OK. So now you'll see this little uh, arrow here. So now I'm going to be able to select by customer number. So that's pretty handy. And as I add more customers, because I expanded the name of that field to 1,000, I'm going to be able to have up to a thousand numbers here and you can rename it. You can update it. Uh, it's a little difficult, but um, at least you're prepared. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the VLOOKUP formula. So I want when I select a number here and I'm going to go ahead and just select one. I'll just select number four. So that way as as I'm entering, um, you know, as I'm adding these formulas, I'm going to be able to check them. Okay, so I'm going to click on this formula box here because I don't have these memorized. I mean, I could probably do it if I needed to. So uh, I use VLOOKUP a lot, so it's right here. If it's not there, just go ahead and start typing VLOOKUP, enter. There it is. So what VLOOKUP does is when you select, when you enter something into a field, you can have it look up in other places in your uh, workbook to bring in information, just like uh, what Thomas wants to do. So 
the way I want this to work is when I look up, when I enter this number, so that's going to be this first one here, I want to look in this specific table. So I'm going to click here and I want to look in this table here. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to hit enter. But I don't want to check the whole thing. So I want it to, what I want it to do is I want it to find number four, account four. And then I want it to take the, since we're in the customer field here, I want it to look up the customer name right here. So that is column two because one, two. If you started on B, B would be column one, C would be column two. So I want it to, I want to do column two. And as you can see right here, it shows the answer. So now, this is where it gets a little confusing, but I, what it will do is if it doesn't find some, the exact match sometimes, it'll bring up something similar, but I want it to bring up the exact match. And so just in short, just type in false. So that way I know it's not bringing up something similar to the answer, it's bringing up the exact answer. So that looks good. So I'm gonna click OK. So there we go. So if I change this to maybe customer six, it's going to change and it's going to update. So see, it's pretty easy. So now we just need to copy this for the rest of the fields. So I'm going to show you a shortcut because I just showed you how to use the formula from the very start. This is how I would do it uh, since I know what I'm doing here. So uh, we want to copy this formula, but before I copy it, I know that if I copy it, it could tweak these numbers. So instead of looking up B3, it might look up B4. So I'm going to click in here and I'm going to put a dollar sign before B and a dollar sign before three, because I always want it to pull from B3. I don't want it to move. So I'm going to hit enter, nothing changed. So now I'm going to copy this. And now I'm going to go, oh, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to paste it. But see, if I leave this formula, it's going to just put the name there. So I want to change two because I want, instead of looking in column two, I want to look in column three because that's the next, uh, that's the next field. So there we go. And actually I screw these up. Sorry about that. Add a field here. So this should actually be attention. There we go. What did I do? Did I do that right? Oh yeah, that's right. Customer attention. Okay. Pardon me. So now I want the address. So I have over here, I have address one and address two. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to copy this formula and hit escape. I'm going to click in here. I'm going to paste it. So instead of three, I want to change that to four. So that should be the address. Same deal. Copy this. Escape. Paste. Change that to five. So that puts the suite in there. So that would be address two. So now for city, state, zip. See, does it make sense now why I chose to put them in in exact order so I don't even have to think about it so there's city copy this stuff paste it in there change that to seven this should be the state and this will be eight and for kicks we're gonna add the phone number so this will be field nine and I'm just updating as we go along so we know that everything uh, we know everything's in order. So there you go. So that is how you go about making your order form and do the VLOOKUP info. So we'll just test it again, make sure all this information changes. So we'll just click on customer 12. See, as you can see, all of it changes. So that is how you use a drop down with VLOOKUP to auto populate fields. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have a question, leave it in the comments. Obviously, I do read them. So uh, ask me your questions. If I can help, I will. Check out my website, sallyu.com, and have a great day. Thanks so much for tuning in.